What's up guys? Welcome to Field Series Review. Today, we're going to be looking at Sitka's Windproof Waterfowl Vest, the Dakota Vest. What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at Sitka's Dakota Vest. Now the Dakota Vest is probably the most popular vest in all of Sitka's line. I see this vest at more uh, outdoor expos, more hunting trips, um, this vest is worn a lot both in the field and casually. So it's an extremely popular vest. Um, it's a polyester vest. It's around 18 ounces for a large. It's got a micro fleece uh, liner on the inside. Uh, the vest itself is 100% windproof with Gore Windstopper. It also has DWR technology to give you some water repellency. It's designed to be a very durable outer piece to keep the wind off of your vitals. It's gonna come with five pockets. You're gonna have your two hand pockets here on the other side that zip. You're gonna have two what I call waiter pockets. So you can put your hands down in the pockets up around your chest uh, where you're wearing waiters or bibs or whatnot. And then you're gonna have one breast pocket that's got a mag it's a magnetic breast pocket for putting your calls or your remote into it. Um, the vest is also gonna come, it's gonna have the loops at the top here for your call lanyard, if you have the Sitka call lanyards that you take off, say your, um, they come with the Delta waiting jacket. I think they come with the Hudson too. Um, draw cord down at the bottom to keep the wind out. Um, this vest is going to come in timber and marsh for the men's line. Uh, for the men's line, it's gonna come through small, through 3X. Now there's a women's version of this vest as well. To my knowledge, the, all the components are made the same as far as the, the Windstopper, uh, the DWR, the durability. Um, but the women's version is gonna be cut uh, a little bit more of a, like a Coke bottle shape. It's gonna be a, a little more slim fitting. Uh, it's gonna come uh, extra small through 2X and it's only gonna come in Marsh. And uh, I think it's on sale right now, um, but don't quote me on that but that is the specs on the Dakota vest. All right guys, it's time to talk about what I like about the Dakota vest and what I would change about the vest. So let's start with the pros. Um, very durable. Uh, it is virtually 100% windproof. Um, it, it does keep the moisture out uh, to a certain extent. Um, so that's all great. It's a great kind of outer piece to wear over something that's not windproof, like let's say um, a gradient, uh, a grinder hoodie, um, a Sitka logo hoodie. This is a great windproof piece to keep on the outside. It's not real thick, um, so that's got its pros and its cons. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of slim fitting, so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your bag. Um, it can kind of get in and out, uh, doesn't get hung on anything, doesn't add a whole lot of extra bulk. Huge fan of the waiter pockets. If you've seen any of my other reviews, I don't understand why any waterfowl jacket does not have waiter pockets. Whether you're in a bib or a waiter or you just want your hands up here, it just feels better. Or it just relieves that stress off of your shoulders. Big fan of the waiter pockets on the uh, Dakota vest. Not sure why they're not on the Dakota hoodie. Um, it would have been pretty awesome if they would have done that. Um, a couple other things that I like about them. Um, I like that the pockets down here zip. Um, put uh, car keys, phone, things like that in there. Zip them up, no issues. Big fan of the draw cord. Um, this is designed to be uh, windproof. It's designed to keep the wind off your vitals. So it's got to have a draw cord at the bottom. That's what keeps the wind out. Um, I do like the uh, magnetic pocket on the breast. Um, it's nice to stow your calls in there real quick, maybe the remote um, for your uh, dog's collar, that type of things. Um, so, and, and, and this is a, a decent, a lot of guys wear this vest casually. Um, I do too, I'll throw it over a hoodie, and go do whatever I need to do. It's a, it's a good vest for that as well. Um, it's a good vest, it's not a great vest. Um, the things that I don't like about it is it's called the Dakota hoodie. I mean, the Dakota vest. Um, when I purchased, I purchased this before I got my hands on the Dakota hoodie a few years ago. 
and I was under the impression that, well, the Dakota hoodie or the Dakota jacket at the time is the same as the vest. It's just, this just doesn't have arms attached to it. Um, that's not the case at all. Um, if you have a Dakota hoodie and you're thinking about getting this, that, oh, it's gonna be just like the hoodie, but uh, just in vest form, mm -mm, it's not the case. This is much thinner. This is basically the outer piece of the Dakota hoodie. It's not the same thing. Um, as far as any insulation, like the warmth you get from the Dakota hoodie, you're not gonna get that from this guy. This guy is, is, is pretty thin. It does a good job of keeping the wind off you, but it is not gonna give you the insulation that um, a Dakota hoodie does. That's a warm piece. This is not that, um, which brings me to the price of this. I mean, it's $200 and it's essentially uh, a windproof vest. I mean, that's what it is. It's got some cool waterfowl features. Um, you do get a lot of wear out of it because people wear it casually. Um, but for what it actually is, for there's no insulation with this guy. It'll keep the wind off of you and that's fine. Um, just know that, but as far as an insulative piece, if you want an insulative vest that's windproof, you definitely want to look at the Fahrenheit. Um, just nitpicking, um, I wish that there was at least one internal zip up breast pocket. Um, throw the car keys in there, throw the phone in there. I know you have the zip up pockets down by your hands, but I like to put my keys, my cell phone up near my chest. Um, so if I have waders on, I can easily get to them with no issues. All right guys, time to talk about sizing and systems when it comes to the Dakota vest. So start with sizing. I'm six foot one, 205, 210 pounds, and I wear an extra large in the Dakota vest. Um, I wear an extra large in all of my Sitka tops. So um, people ask a lot of times about sizing up, sizing down, I'm gonna put this under it, I'm gonna put that over it, should I change the size? I always say no. I always say just stay true to what your size is and I feel like you'll be better off in the long run. So this is a thinner piece. You can see right here, it, it doesn't take up a lot of bulk. This is an, this is an external um, windproof piece. So um, you definitely wanna stay true to your size with it. Um, this is one of my favorite ways to wear it. I wear this a lot in the early season. It is the Sitka logo hoodie. Um, this is not the PO logo hoodie, the, the cotton one. Um, this is the polyester one with um, thumb loops, um, just a little bit better design. I've got a comparison video somewhere for that. Um, I love to put this uh, Dakota vest over it um, for boat rides, especially early goose, early teal. Um, or even if I'm just working uh, for putting out decoys, uh, brushing blinds, whatever we're doing, um, and you know I'm a little bit lighter, um, I will rock this system right here. Um, it's got the chest pockets, which is my absolute favorite. Um, we have the magnetic pocket right here for your calls. Um, it's a great vest for this. Um, I like to call this the uh, poor man Sitka system um, because you can do a lot of versatility with these three pieces right here with the Dakota vest, the um, logo hoodie, and then the very popular gradient jacket. None of these three pieces are really gonna break the bank um, and you can interchange them and they're very versatile. Um, the logo hoodie that I'm wearing and the gradient jacket are not windproof at all. Um, the gradient jacket does have DWR technology, so it will give you some water repellency. It is a very warm piece with, uh, it's a Berber fleece interior. Um, so one of my favorite things to do, what I recommend to people, if you don't wanna purchase something like um, a Dakota hoodie, um, you wanna keep your options open or whatnot, uh, core, or go with the logo, the logo hoodie or the gradient jacket. And then for, um, a windproof option on top of your gradient or maybe all you have is a gradient this is a great windproof option to go over a gradient hoodie or a gradient jacket keeps the wind off of your vitals it com it kind of com compresses the gradient jacket into you very warm and then you have the uh, waiter pockets for when you're wearing waiters or bibs or whatnot um, the logo hoodie with the gradient jacket 
with a Dakota vest on it is a very, very good piece. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to like, comment, reach out to me on uh, Facebook, Instagram. Um, let me know what you want me to review. Let me know if you what you liked, what you didn't like. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to uh, give you my opinion and help in any way that I can. Uh, be sure to check out uh, DixieFalco.com, PacificFalco.com. Use promo code FSREVIEW. You'll get 15% off your order. Um, and just keep coming back. we got more stuff coming, and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks.